Hey, Chi Money Gang, ha, what you doing? So I've been doing a lot of thinking, guys. A lot of thinking. I really thought, okay, why not let's discuss this. So this is going to be like a chit chat, you know, normal money advice and all. But if you're like me, you know, coming from a background or a continent that is that is largely tagged the poverty capital or something like that. You're used to hearing on the developed countries. You're being used to being classified as you know, not the top there, no matter where you are in the world, then I'm sure you have thought about this also, okay? But, you know, like the topic says, why do people stay poor? And at the end of the video, you know, towards the end, I'm also going to tell you what things you can do to get out of a poverty background. You know, So it's not just about being poor, but about getting yourself out of the miry clay in that sense you know getting out of that whole ideology because i believe it's just an ideology and a lifestyle of poverty so if this is the kind of video you want to see then don't go anywhere make sure to smash the like button right now like this video at the end if you think it doesn't make sense you can always unlike but right now please like this video and subscribe if you haven't 80 percent of you have not and um also a, a little bit of house check I really want to welcome everyone who is joining this channel in the last say 30 days you guys have been amazing and i'm really really excited and incidentally i have more men here than women so guys i see you i see you thank you so much ladies thank you for coming thank you for joining please subscribe don't just watch and go because i'm seeing all of you at the back end if you watch and go out no and you know that you know women we need to create wealth right we need to create wealth more than ever before because you already know you already know right <laughs> okay so let's go straight into the video like guys let me know in the comment section what is one thing you think causes poverty what is that one thing you think causes people to be poor or come from poor background or stay poor throughout their life let me know in the comment section let's talk about this okay now what is poverty you know without having to do see caveat i didn't go do any research in that sense statistics for this discussion i just want us to have a heart to heart discussion so poverty in my own estimation is inability to provide your basic needs and thrive and maximize your potential right so assuming you need to pay um, send your children to school but you can pay the average school fees in your region then that's poverty let's even assume the government provides free education and you have to provide certain things you can you need to pay for certain things like school uniform lunch you know and all the basic things medicals but you still can afford it then i think that's poverty also you really are done with maybe a level of schooling but you need to um aspire higher maybe go to a tertiary institution but you can't afford the fees for me that is poverty as well if you also think that somebody or some people are having it better because they are somehow just better than you by nature by luck by some sort of unfair resource control you know controlled by the universe or humans you just believe in it so you believe that you're down here some other people are up there and you can't really really match up i think that's also poverty so these are my different shades of the definition of poverty i don't know if you agree let me know if you agree and also let me know what you define as poverty okay and with it, with my own definition because i have i have lived in the countryside i have lived in the suburbs i've lived in the urban areas and i've seen that there are really different shades of poverty right living from africa right so there are cities in africa that make you feel like you are in the bourgeois class you know it just gives you that feel and you know that touch and feel that you know you belong to that class but <laughs> your income may not be saying the same thing okay then there are also, also cities you, you, you can go to live in Africa and you just perfectly fit in that is now that you the you is not the you I mean the person who we are discussing so let's take somebody who let's take poverty up to be a person okay right so a poor person can go to any some cities in Africa and actually totally fit in so um, maybe there are certain things that make staying poor look normal in that sense because if you go to a place and almost everybody talks like you relates like you doesn't really aspire for much just goes about to 
find your daily bread through begging or through petty trading or otherwise or what they call that now subsistence farming farming <laughs> okay, let me not bite my tongue you know you can fit in right so what are the things that actually make people stay at that level where they really don't maximize their potential that's the part that is very very key for me one of the things i think that keep people really at that place where they are poor and comfortable is number one lack of education right and education here first of all formal education and of course informal education so when somebody grow in grows in a situation in a, a community where access to literacy is lacking which is what i mean by formal education so to the ability to read and write that person is not taught to read and write and that means the person it goes to a, a city and the person can't decipher what is on billboards can't read warning signs if you know what i mean that kind of poverty where the person is an adult now but because there was no access to literacy formal education the person can't really thrive so that person possibly can't fill the bank form can't open an account can't you know you know what i mean now there's also the informal education which is for me is even most important which also has a bit of both in the sense of knowing being aware of your environment knowing what to do at certain times knowing what is expected of you at each time right knowing basic things like hygiene why you shouldn't you know do this how to take care of your health how to you know um love your wife how to take care of your children what children need at the basic time different milestones of your life if you maybe you're a father or a mother what you need to know as a mother who is married and getting pregnant you know you know I have had several experiences where I've been in experiences where people actually die from lack of informal education. So let's say for instance a woman is pregnant and doesn't know that you should register for antenatal just before just because in their community other women to tell stories like how you know in fact they even experience them you know other women give birth at home they they have some of these local midwives and some make it some don't make it and then they think it's normal right so they feel like hospital at like way way different things out of their community and most of them also don't have access to resources like you know transportation and all of that so maternal mortality is really high in such communities so i'm trying to explain informal education and why it is so important so knowing what to do at every stage of your life understanding puberty for instance if you're at that stage all of those things that people typically learn also in formal education and learning groups and communities when it's lacking then is a huge 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 disadvantage and can keep somebody poor so i mentioned two things here lack of education and lack of access to resources right next route is another reason that why people stay poor is when you have what i call endemic inequality so you see in certain places for instance even when there's say um, formal education provided but the ideology of the people have discouraged a certain gender maybe men maybe women from you know being qualified to attend school for instance or where people are told by their gender not to come out from the house so do you are to stay at home are there people who are given less or not allowed to go to school because they are women or because they are men or because they come from a certain background you know what i mean so they feel it, school is not for people like you. I also served my country in the north where education was free and people were even paid to attend school. So to give them incentive and appreciate their being able to come out and willing to go to school, they are also paid uh, by the government. Okay, so I mean you are paid for learning. We, which is not the same for every part of Nigeria, for instance, but that's a topic for another day, right? So when people are generally, you know, refused certain rights not just education and right to speaking up right to um, association you know people are asked to not mingle anything that inhibits people from accessing their, their human rights either because of their gender their race their tribe their religion that can keep people in poverty i know we agree on this point right <laughs> another reason why people stay poor is when poverty is a family ideology i was you know i was getting here 
so there's certain families that people you know are born into so they start like hustling from when they were still in the tummy as fetuses when they are newborns when they are toddlers so before they are even five they are so streetwise they you know know how to sell in their own childish ways they know how to make ends meet they are, they are just used to surviving on their own you know we see that a lot on the streets of africa and some other continent as well and what is the possibility that a child in that condition the child who treks hundreds of kilometers for instance to go to farm and brings back the farm produce on his head or her head goes i mean i ever had a personal experience with this go kilometers on foot to a nearby you know so-called nearby stream to get water water for use at home i mean i had that experience as a child growing up in the city of abba there were pipe bomb water was like luxury like what is the possibility that that person will be able to grow and aspire in tech and aspire to be the president of his country and as you know like where we even see the example that's a thing where we see that oh these things are possible that leads me to the next point lack of role models so if someone is not even exposed to knowing what is possible with their potentials by look by seeing other people who are doing that what's the possibility that i want to aspire to be that okay so that's another thing and I'll mention a couple of other things, reasons why people stay poor. Then we'll get into the solution. <laughs> okay, so don't go anywhere. If you are watched to this point and you have still haven't subscribed, I want to beg you, please subscribe to my channel. I'm growing this channel because I want it to be a benefit or a base for empowering people beyond the knowledge, but also financially. Join me in this journey and let's make it happen by helping me to get to the point where I can begin to monetize this by the numbers because people are watching they want to see if they can invest in this channel okay and in me as well and us <laughs> okay so please subscribe to this channel watch me grow let's do this okay thank you already so another reason why people stay poor is low paying jobs <laughs> this is this one is really really tricky because it gives you an illusion that after all I'm doing something after all I'm better than the next Jones out there who isn't even able to get a job at all but at the same time it pays you barely anything to to live by with that kind of job you can't even save like even your expenses to and through the work it doesn't cover it not talk of your time not to talk of being able to save so that way you can create wealth so it gives you this illusion that you have a job but what you're actually doing is it's not even just a rat race you are dying in installments because at the end of the day is your years that are running down you're just keeping busy but you're not you're not in business you're not in career you're really not helping anyone because you can't really help anyone that's one way people also stand some people don't think through these things so they just keep staying in that system just keep staying in that system and then discover that life has ebbed away somehow and then it becomes a family thing and they give birth to children into this kind of mindset where you don't aspire you're comfortable with less and it becomes like it's normal you know what i mean the, the last part of why people stay poor is lack of financial literacy so you can have formal education, informal education, but you may not be able to understand the structure of how money can be made, how money can be managed, how money can be um, grown. If you don't specifically learn about finance and wealth building and money and how it works. And that comes by, you know, forums like this, which is why I started this channel, for instance, that the things I'm doing and learning, I can also share, right? So it's in financial literacy, you learn things about how money grows, how to make your money grow through investment, through different sources. It's by financial literacy that you learn how to budget. So you don't just, you're not just in, in la la la. You can actually track your spending to say, okay, so I want to keep it within this budget and see how much I'm able to stick to it and how much... You know my quality of life actually demands it is in financial literacy that you learn things like how to manage debt why you should not even get into debt that will get you poor and keep you poor and truly maybe 
you know, extend to the next generation. It's the financial literacy that you also learn, you know, how to plan for your future, how to be able to save, how to be able to, you know, do basic things for yourself. So that way you're conscious. So some of those things may not be taught in school practically, but you need to go out of yourself, whether you have the privilege of having a financial, um, a formal education or not, you will need to educate yourself by consciously deciding to learn financial literacy by yourself either through a financial advisor through a channel like this through people but through mingling with the kind of people who are doing the kind of things that are helping them grow wealth to the next generation right now how can you rise out of poverty even if you are born in those um you know pictures I have painted, right? You grew up from that kind of background where nobody aspired. There are certain families that, for instance, they've never seen any auntie, uncle, parents, sibling buy a brand new car. And that used to be my reality, you know, even some years back. I really haven't seen anybody buy, I mean brand new car. So cars that are like in their tens of millions of, you know, in my currency, for instance. So it will, you will not know, but it will limit the way you think about wealth and about luxury so when you're thinking about buying a car you're also thinking of you know used cars cars that have you know have already accumulated some mileage and this is just an example so remember what i said about mentorship if you don't have uh, role modeling right now if you don't have things to aspire to you it's not it might not be the person's fault in that hundred percent if the person cannot you know i mean it is what you picture that is on your mind that you can aspire to right so one of the ways that we can rise out of poverty they look very obvious right yeah access to quality education not just any kind of education education that helps you discover you education that helps you explore the arts and the science and the commercial and the business the education that helps you interact with other people so you have actual schoolmates you know that you can aspire and plan with education that helps you discover you learn about your body learn about money learn about subject arts you know learn about what has happened um, in the past history learn about government you know all of those integrated education that kind of education is a gold mine because it helps you begin to know okay so where am i likely to find my base where am i inclined to art science you know a little bit into business or more you know and it will help guide your choices and your aspirations quality education the one that you also have quality teachers quality teachers very important because now in this time and age guys have you guys noticed most times the teachers that we have are the kind of teacher that the pupils or even the students are more knowledgeable than them and they're not even pet up they don't want to research they don't want to add new knowledge they don't want to add new skills so the sound of you know children just sit down in school and just you know while away time just do what they can barely do but they can see through the ignorance of their teachers that wasn't the case when we were growing up but sadly this is what we see we see them in educational materials as well you see a lot of grammatical errors wrong like in mathematics textbooks some of them are wrongly done and you wonder who are those vetting these things where have education gotten to and i'm talking for myself as a nigerian okay somebody in africa and that's not to say that we don't have quality teachers okay i'm just saying that these are the reasons why we must do something fast about giving everybody access to quality education quality education helps to open up people's mind and i know some families who also didn't have the privilege of anybody going higher in education maybe doing like a high school level that is secondary school senior secondary and going into the university but when one person is able to aspire and get there he, he or she becomes the light of the family and then everybody begins to aspire to be like them so that's one way formal education can help okay another way to rise out of poverty is learning about finance so even the person who may be did not have access to quality education in that sense, but had some sort of education, but then adds it up with being an apprentice or learning from somebody who is a wealth builder, like we see in business in, in some part of Nigeria, that person can become a business juggernaut, a business guru, and can create a lot of wealth. So it has to be a conscious learning to be able to learn how to grow wealth, how to make money, what kind of products how to spin out products that can make money how to be able to market it how to be able to sell it 
how to be able to make profit, understand what profit is, how to be able to grow the money, manage it so that it doesn't disappear, and how to be able to make it go down through the generations in a way that the person can invest in tangible, um, scalable investments. Very important. And it is has to be conscious. So when somebody apply as the decides at any stage in their life that I'm going to learn how to grow money, I'm going to associate with people who are already doing this, then it becomes, you know, a light and a beacon for the person to rise out of poverty. Another way that somebody can get out of poverty is by accessing resources around them. So if you have healthcare centers, you can go there to find out how, if you can check your body system, if you, you know, if you hear about webinars or things, empowerment programs or health free head checks, you make yourself available to, to learn and to know more. You know, if before you're able to impregnate your wife, you go to any accessible healthcare center to find out the things you should know as a husband to help your wife stay healthy and give birth to a healthy baby. These are things that you can, people can consciously learn, right? Accessing is one thing for government to provide certain things or individual to provide certain things. It's another thing for you as an individual or people as individuals to actually take advantage of the things that are already provided and it has to be conscious and as i'm saying this thing it just keeps bringing back the fact that it has to be conscious right getting out of poverty is the, an individual decision you can't say oh my brothers let's come together and, and, and leave poverty mm -mm. you have to start making the move yourself acquiring information you know um, literacy learning asking the right questions right very important Making yourself available if there are schools that you can assess. Making, us, making sure that you can go out there and apply to learn. Very important. Fight for the things that you want, actually. Okay? Another way you can someone can come out of poverty is by believing in their own self. I think I was going to get here because it's one thing to know that, oh, okay, you should do this and this. But if you don't believe so much in yourself, if you believe that, other people are better than you, there's no much I can do, then you really can't tap into your inner powers. If you don't, for instance, if you don't step out to say, oh, I want to get this education no matter the cost, you will not know that there are people who have resources that can actually volunteer and to invest in your education. You will not know that as you fight and you keep aspiring and asking everybody that please, they should help you, that there are people who are, who are looking for people to invest in, people who are serious. But if you're laid back, you, you believe that nobody will give you anything you believe that everything everything is against you it's not gonna happen so believing in yourself is key I think this should even should be, be the first point if you want to get out of poverty you have to first of all be realize that you're in poverty get angry about the fact that you're in poverty and then make a decision like we have been discussing of how to get out of it consciously there are other ways and I'm going to wrap up with those in a bit now just before I wrap up with the three main points are you still watching have you liked the video yet have you subscribed please do it for me okay all right so one three of the other ways you can apply yourself to getting out of poverty is first of all your connections you have to build networks very important you have to look out for people that you aspire to be like whether in your community or outside if they're outside your community you have to make the effort to go look them up, to go visit them, to go have a chat with them, to go submit to learn from them. It has to be conscious. It's called personal responsibility. You have to take personal responsibility for getting out of poverty. Nobody's gonna do it for anyone. Like, you know, like we say in Nigeria, they don't burn you finish, okay? So you are the architect of your own destiny, financially and otherwise. Okay, another good way that also helped me was to look for opportunities to volunteer. So you're in your village, you're aspiring to get out. Then you hear about an organization recruiting young people or even old people to say, oh, if you can come out and do this for us, we might not pay you, but we're going to give you access to resources. You're going to do social tasks, but well, we're going to take you to the city or something. Don't sit back and be looking at them, you know, ah, look at these people. Look at their cars. Look at what they are wearing. Go closer, find out how you can be one of their agents as long as it's something that is a good cause. Find out exactly what it is that they're about and volunteer. Say, I, I want to be part of your organization, right? You will never know. That is even one way to build networks. That's one way to ask to show your 
capability and from volunteering let me bust your bubble i had an organization i i volunteered for from when i was in university in first year till 2016. let me say it again i was volunteering for the organization from my first year my first year was in 2000 2001 till 2016 I was volunteering for this organization and in fact if I happen to go back to maybe the city where they are now I'm still like I'll still have to be you know to play some kind of role because I'm already known you know what I mean that organization opened me up to work with governors and I'm not joking opened me up to understand that I was very good with communication with marketing communications you know employed me twice within those years full-time apart from my volunteering work and more Yes, I have a for an organization called Guardians of the Nation International. It's a not-for-profit organization that trains young people in leadership. And so I know what exactly what I'm telling you. Don't slack back. If you have an opportunity that, oh, they're not going to pay, or it's not like a job, it's just for you to do certain tasks for two days or one month or something, but they fund you moving around and doing the task. Why not? Because if you stay back, what extra thing have you added to your life? How are you going to escape poverty if you don't run towards something that will get you out of it? So finally, another key way to get out of poverty is, of course, through entrepreneurship, starting a business, being able to employ people at some point as you scale the business to work for you as well while you're doing it, and being able to grow it to a point where you can aspire and expand it beyond your territory. Of course, I'm sure you know many examples of people who have done this successfully. In fact, entrepreneurs are the engine houses of countries, right? So starting a business is one way to get out of poverty really fast. Don't depend on handouts and all that. Don't be comfortable with everybody burning their faith. Oh, the country is so bad, this and that. Do something about it. There's something still in your community that everybody needs that they, maybe the resources are, are scarce. Look at for how to get them introduced into your community. Be the person people give their money to purchase it, especially if they depend on it. Daily needs are so important. If you do a business that people need the product every day, you're gonna grow wealth. And with that, you can take care of your family and other people can join you and provide wealth at that level. This topic is very important because I feel like it's time for us to stop being comfortable with the things we don't have or to stop being comfortable with just barely enough we can always change our financial destiny and it's all in our hands trust me trust me Chi money gang you know i got you all the time i keep rooting for you and please if you know anyone who need this video make sure to share it with them subscribe if you haven't subscribed like this video and i'll talk to you pretty soon all right cheers and thank you so much Bye.